Break news coming in this evening. Former AAP leader Vinod Kumar Binni, who parted ways with Arvind Kejriwal on a very public and very bitter note, may now switch over to the BJP. Vinod Kumar Binni reportedly met Delhi BJP Chief Satish Upadhyay at the Delhi BJP office, triggering rumours of his entry into the saffron fold. After Shahzia Ilmi, Binni might become the second former Aam Aadmi Party face to join the BJP. There have been big inductions uh, that the BJP has seen over the last one week. First, it was uh, anti-corruption crusader Kiran Bedi and then former AAP leader Shazia Ilmi. Let's get in a word from Congress's Priyanka Chaturvedi who is with us on the phone line. Thanks so much for speaking to Headline today. Priyanka, your first reaction. No, my only reaction to this would be uh, it's a ghar vapsi for all Aam Aadmi Party and India Against Corruption uh, the people who are behind that entire movement, which is sponsored by the BJP and the RSS, are now uh, going back to the party that they belong to or started from. So Vinod Kumar Bini moving into that, we're just waiting for a day when Mr. K. J. Wal himself decides to uh, merge his party into the BJP. Having said that, what is also surprising is that the Bharti Janta Party has no leadership in Delhi for it to depend on what, whoever is coming, all the rejects of the Aam Aadmi Party or people who were out of the Aam Aadmi Party and now being inducted into the uh, BJP goes to show... Right, so Priyanka, basically what you're saying, that you're saying is that this is bad Delhi press both for the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party. It exposes the BJP's desperation, also shows that the AAP has failed to hold on to the original core team. Absolutely. Uh, not just the core team. I, I would uh, like to believe that, and I, I think that considering the movement that has been happening over the past couple of days, that IAC was totally the brainchild of the RSS and the BJP to create unrest in the country. And now all the people who were involved in this are now formally joining a party that they actually started from and making it more official. Absolutely. And uh, Priyanka, do you think that uh, Vinod Kumar Binni would be able to provide some kind of firepower to the BJP considering that he was known as a giant killer? He had defeated health and family uh, minister A.K. Valia by about 8,000 votes. No, absolutely. It is, it's extremely laughable now that these people would be able to make any kind of um, impact as far as the Delhi elections are concerned. Considering voters have seen how Amadi Party behaved and ran away from uh, giving good governance to Delhi, they have seen how BJP also, uh, you know, backed out of being the single largest party, could not give, uh, you know, could not take the responsibility of forming a government there. So I'm certain when people go out to vote, they would realize how they have been betrayed both times by both the parties and then choose to vote uh, for people that they believe have been tried and tested. Absolutely. Priyanka Jatarvedi, Congress spokesperson, thanks so much for speaking to headlines today. The big story we're tracking this uh, evening. Former Aam Aadmi Party leader Vinod Kumar Binni rumoured to be on the verge of joining the BJP. He was spotted at, uh, Delhi BJ, at the Delhi BJP office this evening meeting uh, Delhi BJP Chief Satish Upadhyay. Atir Khan, our deputy editor, is also with us uh, on the phone line. Atir, uh, any formal announcement expected soon? Well, uh, that, that possibility cannot be ruled out, Simi, since uh, he's already met the Delhi BJP uh, state president. And uh, we also know that he has been having differences with uh, Arvind Kejriwal uh, since, uh, after the elections, immediately after the elections last year. Uh, but uh, this time around, uh, uh, you know, uh, there is a possibility since uh, Aam Aadmi Party uh, members have joined uh, we, 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 the, the talks of Shazia and me also. And uh, this possibility of uh, Vinod Kumar Binni joining BJP and he contesting from the New Delhi constituency is, uh, is, is a possibility and it cannot be ruled out at this time, this, this point of time. All right, Ate, thanks so much for that uh, update. The big story we're tracking, former Aam Aadmi Party leader Vinod Kumar Binni spotted at the Delhi BJP office this evening. He was reportedly holding a closed-door meeting with Delhi BJP Chief Satish Upadhyay. If Vinod Kumar Binni does join the BJP, he will become the second former AAP leader to join the saffron fold after Shazia Ilmi. Of course, uh, too many, lots of uh, new faces joining the BJP ahead of uh, assembly elections in the national capital. First, it was anti-corruption crusader and former IPS uh, officer Kiran Bedi who has now emerged as the face of the BJP's campaign in the national capital. Atir Khan, our deputy editor, is still with, with us uh, on the phone line. Atir, it really now emerges. It, it, it almost seems like uh, all roads uh, before the assembly elections lead to the BJP office.
I'm afraid we've lost that uh, link. We'll uh, continue getting you reactions on that big story. Vinod Kumar Binni, former Aam Aadmi Party leader, spotted at the Delhi BJP office. He reportedly held a closed door meeting with Satish Upadhyay. Battleground Delhi is heating up. Congress's campaign committee chief Ajay Markun on Saturday mocked up Chief Arvind K. Jival and called him a U-turn chief minister. Congress's renewed aggression is being seen as an attempt by the party to project itself as a serious contender. So far, the battle for Delhi was being seen as a two-way contest between the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party. In the past four days, the politicians have been eaten in the past four days. We are going to take a look at it. We are going to take a look at it. आज मैं कहता हूं कि आम आदमी पार्टी की बी टीम बीजेपी बन गई है नेता पॉलिटिक्स में पड़ गए अंदरूनी झगड़ों में पड़ गए धीरे धीरे सड़ सड़ से लेकर आज तक कांग्रेस पार्टी समाप्त मैं उस सरकार में हूं या नहीं हूं ये तो आने वाला समय ही बताएगा द पॉलिटिकल एटमोस्फेयर इन द नेशनल कैपिटल इज सुपरचार्ज Barbs and counter barbs are flying thick and fast. The day began with the Congress's scathing attack on Arvind Kejriwal, mocking him for going back on promises made during his 49 day rule in Delhi. The Ahmadmi Party hitting right back. <laughs> और आज ये एफिडेविट आप सब लोगों को भी बांट दिया जाएगा हम उम्मीद करेंगे कि आम आदमी पार्टी और केजरीवाल इसका जरूर जवाब देंगे कांग्रेस यू टर्न पे कुछ प्लान कर रही है कांग्रेस की बुकलेट आने वाली है कांग्रेस कल इसके बारे में एक पीसी करेगी पीसी में कहती है कि हम बुकलेट लाएंगे एक खबर कुछ है इंस्टॉलमेंट में क्यों बनाया जाता After the Aam Aadmi Party, the Congress campaign chief switched his focus towards the BJP and Kiran Bedi. Kiran Bedi ji ka hirde parivartan ho gaya do tarike se ki ek to bhrashtachar number ek se unke liye prathmikta ke upar saathwe number pe ho aagai jab se Narendra Modi ji ka saath unho ne sambhala bhrashtachar ab unke liye prathmikta number ek nahi hai. I don't use people and I never get used. I do what is ethically right at the right time for that time. But the real fight for power seems to be between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP and it hinges around the allegations levelled by Kejriwal on 14th January claiming a nexus between Delhi BJP chief Satish Upadhyay and power companies. Now, Ayog has taken his cognizance. After taking his cognizance, Prima Fessay thought that these things are right. Then he has noticed that. I do this with the swag of Nirvachan Ayog, Chunav Ayog, Election Commission. कि उन्होंने हमारी बात को सुना और उसको सही माना केजरीवाल इज क्लियरली अंडर अ टू वे अटैक मैं श्रीमान केजरीवाल के बारे में यहाँ कोई बात करना नहीं आप चाहता जब आपकी सभा में आऊंगा ना तब उनको पूरे के पूरा उनका कच्चा चिट्ठा लोगों के सामने रखूंगा विथ लेस देन ट्वेंटी डेज लेफ्ट फॉर कैंपेनिंग इट्स अ पोल फाइट टू द फिनिश Bureau report headlines today. The Congress Party may not have officially announced its chief ministerial candidate, but its campaign committee chief Ajay Markin maintains that his presence will make a huge difference to the side. Markin spoke exclusively to headlines today's Karan Thapar on nothing but the truth. Here's an excerpt. It's not just that the BJP did considerably better than you in the Delhi contournement, which is what you're going by, but in addition, they've got Narendra Modi. His appeal has grown. More importantly, people see him as a okay. possible savior, okay. and they believe a vote for okay. BJP let me, would connect Modi me, to Delhi. That is something you no, can't counter. Let me, let two things about Delhi contournement. Number one, you say they are doing, they have done better. No, they have, they have performed worse. They have, they, the vote share went down by 3%. And the difference is, at that time, when the elections took place, I was no in the picture. Now I am the campaign committee in charge. I am I, I am myself contesting an election, and I feel it will make some difference. The second thing, let I'm me, very let interested me, in that. Let me, let you let really me, believe let Ajay Markan will let personally let me, turn me, the scales let me, in Congress's let, favor? Let, let, let me answer your second question. You talked about Modi, and if there is Modi and BJP has so much faith in Modi, Ram Lila ground rally flopped. He had nothing nothing new to offer. You are a superb politician. 
The problem is you're not the face of the Congress in this campaign. And at a time when people vote for leaders rather than for parties, Ahmad has had with Kejriwal, the BJP will probably have Kiran Bedi, but you're not the face. Why? If you really are going to make I, the am, difference, am, am, am tell I your party, the, I, I not, must be CM candidate. Listen, uh, Thapardi, am I not the campaign committee chairman? You say you are not the face of campaign. I'm the chairman of the campaign committee. I'm myself contesting. I'm the senior most amongst but all the... when MLA your party was contesting. officially asked who would be the CM, they have actually gone on listen, record to say that will listen, be decided Thapardi. later. That wasn't the case when you fought Punjab under Amarinder Singh. Listen, Rahul but, Gandhi declared but, him but, as the CM candidate. It. But that was the case in 2003 when under Shri Dixit. I am talking Dixit, about 2008. I am talking about Delhi. I am talking, talking about 2008. You are talking Singh about Punjab. Punjab. I am talking about Delhi. I am talking about Delhi where the elections are taking place. I am talking about Delhi. The McDonald's outlet in Pune, which reportedly threw an impoverished child out of the restaurant, has now been shut down. Locals in the area hurled cow dunk and mudded the outlet in protest of the shameful treatment allegedly meted out to the child. The boy was allegedly thrown out, even though he had been taken inside by a lady who wanted to buy him food. When the customer was standing along with the child in a queue, a McDonald's staff allegedly pushed the boy out of the restaurant. The lady intervened and told the staffer that the boy was with her. The McDonald's employee allegedly didn't relent, saying that such kind of people are not allowed inside the restaurant. The lady, however, bought the child something to drink. The social media is abuzz with the story, with McDonald's coming under attack for being such for meeting out such insensitive treatment. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis too reacted to the story, saying appropriate action will be taken. McDonald's India, meanwhile, has issued a statement as well. The company says it does not support any discrimination. The statement says, and I quote, we are investigating internally an issue that has uh, been reported on an incident involving a street child. We wish to affirm that we treasure and respect everyone in equal measure and do not support any form of discrimination. We shall be examining if our employees have in any manner breached basic courtesy and respect and take appropriate action. McDonald's seeks to provide all our customers a safe and welcoming environment. We will always ensure that our guests feel comfortable and safe." Unquote. In an incident in Pune, when uh, one street kid was thrown out of McDonald's because he was trying to buy some food there, I am joined by Shaina. Shaina would like to ask you the, what, what was the entire incident, please tell her. Well, I was in Pune for an official visit. I went to attend the 5th DCS. And uh, my friends and I decided to go to McDonald's and uh, we uh, got some pork clothes for ourselves. And there was a street kid outside uh, who asked for the same. I said, oh, why not just let me buy something for him. I asked him if he would like to accompany me inside. He was very happy about it. I took him inside. He was standing in the line and uh, I was there with him. Then one of the employees came and he dragged him by his collar and pushed him outside. When I intervened as to why would he do something like this, he mentioned that, uh, uh, Madam, we do not allow such people. And of course that, then I was quite intimidated myself with the whole incident. I didn't mention uh, anything else and I just bought the drink for the boy and I left. What was the age of that boy? I think uh, I just uh, came to know that he was eight years old. He was quite small. And who was that person who uh, thrown him out of the uh, restaurant? Who was that person? Was he the person who was working there or was the manager of McDonald's? Who, who was that person exactly? Well, what position he held there, I am not very confident about what he was. But he was uh, surely one of the persons uh, belonging to McDonald's because I think the person at the counter hinted him to uh, throw the kid out. Political interference. Here's a lowdown of the day's developments. The censors versus center battle triggered over the release of controversial Godman Ram Rahim's movie is escalating. Eight more CBFC members resigned following their chief Leela Samson. The members shot off a stinging resignation letter to Information and Broadcast Minister Arun Jaitley, alleging interference and corruption. Institution is set up by the by an act of parliament. Whichever government uh, is in power should allow the normal functioning of an institution. IND Minister Arun Jaitley in his blog labeled the board members as rebels without a cause, clarifying that the NDA government maintains an arm's length distance on the issue of film certification and blamed the UPA appointed board members for the corruption and the manner in which it was being run. 
Will a revamp take care that politics doesn't hamper artistic creativity? It was in 1983 that the Defence Research and Development Organisation or the DRDO was cleared to design and build an indigenous fighter plane. Today, after a wait of 32 long years, the first plane was handed over to the Indian Air Force in Bangalore. Jugal Purohit with more details. What you are seeing on air is India's first homegrown fighter plane. The light combat aircraft Tejas. If all falls in place, very soon Tejas will replace the aging MiG-21s. Today, the makers of the aircraft, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, an aeronautical development agency, handed over the first plane to the Indian Air Force Chief, Air Chief Marshal Arupraha, with the promise that soon enough 19 more would be added to the list. However, Tejas will become operational only after it is successfully tested by the Indian Air Force. It is believed that Tejas has up to 60% indigenous content and so far the government has spent around 8,000 crore rupees on it. In days to come, Tejas will go through the litmus test of whether it is capable to replace the aging MiG-21s. But today, it is a proud moment for the Indian Air Force. With Jugal Purohit in New Delhi, Bureau Report, Headlines Today.